On 9th June 1981, Edidian Muchibi, Luta Maguzi, one of the first heroes of the National Resistance Army, or NRA, was killed by government soldiers after he refused to reveal the hiding place of the rebel leader and his men. Mostly, the day has been celebrated in remembrance of those who contributed to the 1981 to 1985 civil war that ushered the National Resistance Movement, or NRM government, into power on 26th January 1986. The awards given to the heroes include the Damu Medal, the Independence Medal, the Golden Jubilee Medal, King Kabalega Medal, Luero Triangle Medal, Nalubale Medal, Order of the Pearl of Africa Medal, Crested Crane Medal, Masaba Star Medal, and Renzori Star Medal. It would seem that the Bush War heroes have finally been exhausted. These days, the Medals Committee awards medals to Ugandans from all walks of life. Emmanuel Dombo, the NRM's Director for Information and Publicity, says the emphasis has shifted from celebrating those who liberated the country through the Bush War to those who are now liberating it through mindset change. Right now, if you have been at a number of functions in the country, we celebrate many kinds of heroes. People who have made advances in science and technology, people who have saved lives during pandemics. Heroes Day, though, wasn't always celebrated on 9th June. During President Apollo Milton Obote's second regime, from 1981 to 1985, Heroes Day was celebrated on 27th May. This marked the day in 1980 when Obote returned to Uganda after nine years in exile. Ben Wacha, a former legislator who is now a partner at Victoria Advocates and Legal Consultants, was secretary to the organizing committee that welcomed Obote at Mbarara Airstrip and escorted him to Bushenyi district for his first rally. Mbarara had a lot of people on the way to Bushenyi, there were a lot of people waving. Uh, Bushenyi itself, Ishaka, was ecstatic. People were excited, people were jumping, people were dancing. NTV asked Wacha what Obote emphasized in his first speech to Ugandans. Unity of the people of Uganda, the fact that Uganda had suffered for the last eight years, hmm, that there was hope for betterment of Uganda. 27th May came to be known interchangeably as Heroes Day or Bushenyi Day. On that day, Uganda People's Congress or UPC party members made pilgrimages to Bushenyi to celebrate. From West Nile, from Karamoja, from Bale, from people would travel. I would stay there one week, for example. Other people would stay there more. Joseph Otieno, a member of the UPC party, says that at the time, Heroes Day had specific themes. So Heroes Day was about energy, about was courage, about focus. It was about, um, uh, if, if you like, it was about people who give up their lives and their contributions to the nation state, called then the Republic of Uganda. Nowadays, it would seem that Heroes Day has been turned partisan, and only those who subscribe to the NRM party are awarded medals and toasted as heroes. That is the challenge that we have in the country. Until people's mindsets are liberated, then they cannot accuse NRM of doing anything. This year, the celebrations will focus on the former Front for National Salvation or for NASA rebel fighters who were publicly executed in different parts of the country on the orders of President Idi Amin Dada. For NASA was a very small component of the struggle, very small indeed. Hmm? Let nobody deceive you. You would consider that the young men and women who died in Somalia the other day are some of our heroes. That is if they died for us. Since 2001, thousands of Ugandans who are striving daily to make this country a better place to live in have been awarded medals. Many more are yet to be awarded. Gillian Nantume, NTV, tonight.